Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. Last video I have explained you about the programming problems. So I have explained you about linear programming and integer programming. Now in this video I'm going to explain you two more programming problems that is goal programming and dynamic programming. Apart from that I'm going to explain you about managerial applications of programming problems. Remember in ex every examination they will frequently ask a theory question regarding what are programming problems and what are the different types of programming problems. So this video is going to be very important from students point of view because they can get a good command on the concepts of different types of programming problems. So watch the video till the end, don't skip in between, don't join in between and if you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject operation research, select the videos of programming problems, be perfect on the, con on the concepts and face the examination confidently. Now before starting the explanation of goal programming, take the screenshot of the points, then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, goal programming. Now, it's also called multi-objective programming. Now, see here. In the last video in linear programming, I explained you that uh, every problem will have a particular objective. If there is only one objective, we can apply linear programming, LP. But many a times, a decision has to be taken where the objective does not involve only one variable. We have different variables, different objectives. So how to attain more than one objective in a particular problem? There we apply goal programming. That's why it is called multi-objective programming. In linear programming models are based on a single objective function, but in practice several criteria may have to be, may be important. Simple problem is we have only one objective, but nowadays the environment, the business situation is so complex that we, we don't have a single objective. We have multiplicity of objectives. So how to attain those multiplicity of objectives for a single problem? We apply goal programming. So for example, in a manpower, I have given one example where a problem involves multiple objectives. Manpower planning. In case of manpower planning, the management wants the labor at a lower cost. The management wants that the productivity of labor should be high and also if there is a night shift work, how the workers duties will be divided for night shift works. Like that we have multiple objectives for a single problem for labor. So this is an example where we need goal programming. Now in linear programming only one of these objectives can be retained as objective function and the remaining are constraints. In the next video, I'm going to explain you the format, how to formulate the linear programming. So in linear programming, only one objective function will be there and the remaining will be constraints. This makes, this makes the objective function less important and there will be solution satisfying all the objectives. So in linear programming, it's very simple because only one objective we want to attain and number of constraints are given. But a complex problem where we have multiple objectives, we cannot apply LP method. Linear programming we cannot apply. In that case, risk, uh, this goal programming will come to the rescue. Now goal programming was developed by Chance and Cooper in 1961 to permit the use of several objective function. So actually this goal programming was started by Chance and Cooper in 1961. To those situations, those problems where we have multiple objectives. So this much explanation is enough for writing the theory question on goal programming. Now dynamic programming. It is also called multi-stage programming. In a number of uh, decision making problems we come across a situation where the problem consists of a process. In this process a number of stages are there. So every stage a decision has to be taken. So whenever a program, a problem is there which constitutes a process and having number of stages and every stage a decision has to be taken in those type of 
program problems we apply dynamic programming dp so dynamic programming is a mathematical technique dealing with optimization of multi stage process remember the word multi stage process a process consisting of number of stages so many decision making problems involve process that takes place in several stages in such a way that each stage the process is dependent on the strategy chosen so a big a huge problem complex problem is there which consists of a number of stages and every stage a strategy has to be adopted a decision has to be taken then after completing that stage the next stage again a decision has to be taken solve the problem like this a big problem is divided into number of stages such type of problems are called dpp dynamic programming problem now thus dp is concerned with the theory of multi stage decision process that is a process in which a sequence of interrelated decision has to be made the problem is structured in such a way that all different stages interrelationship between different stages are made and we take the decision at every stage now mathematically a dpp is a decision making problem in n variables the problem being subdivided into n subgroups segments each sub problem being a decision making problem in one variable only so this is the complete explanation mathematical explanation of dpp it's a decision making problem where the process consists of n variables so at each stage one variable has to be ascertained now the solution of dpp is achieved sequentially starting from the first stage initial stage and that is to the next till the final stage is reached so in this case of dynamic problem we have to solve the problem at each of the stages from the first stage till the last stage like this decision making will be done in different stages that is called dynamic programming problem so i have explained you all the programming problems like linear programming integer programming goal programming dynamic programming that's it now the last topic of this video is regarding managerial applications of programming problems nowadays programming problems has become a vital input for decision at the management level so at management the management will take the help of programming problems in solving many complex problems now decision making is an essential and dominating part of management the main job the main function of the management is taking the decisions that means choosing among the alternatives so many alternatives are there the management has to choose any one of the alternative that is called decision making and decision making is essential and dominating part of every management process whatever be the nature of the business whatever be the like of the business every management has to take the decisions now the environment in management has to operate nowadays is complex and fast changing nowadays throughout the globe the situation the environment in which the business operates is completely dynamic ever changing complex environment in this way it's not an easy task to solve a problem to find to take a decision to find out the solution is not as simple as we think there are many complexities available now there is a greater need for supplementing the art of decision making by systematic scientific method so we cannot go by rule of thumb according to our own personal judgment we cannot take the decision we need the scientific systematic the art of taking the decisions now a systematic approach to decision making is necessary because today's business environment in which between business functions are far more complex than the past since globalization since globalization due to the emergence of fdi multinational companies free movement of capital the integration of world economies the environment has become very very complex now decision making needs systematic and scientific approach then only we can take the right decisions most of the business decisions cannot be made simply by the wisdom of rule of thumb using common sense and personal judgment these are the old methods of taking the decision according to our own judgment according to rule of thumb like that we used to take the decision before globalization 
In 1980s, 1970s, the business was not so complex. So by applying personal judgment, we can take the decision. But nowadays, the environment has completely changed. Now we need systematic scientific approach for decision making. As such, present day management cannot rely solely on trial and error approach and the management have to be more sophisticated. So nowadays, if a business has to take the right decision, it has to go for sophisticated method, scientific method of taking the decisions. They should employ scientific methods to help them make proper decisions. So every management throughout the world, they need some systematic method of taking the decisions. In practice, the programming problems has proved to be most widely used technique by man for managerial decision making in a business industry and numerous other fields. Nowadays, present day generation, this programming problems are becoming more and more widely used technique in order to solve the problems in a business, in an industry or any other field. So these programming problems are becoming more and more widely used, popular in solving the problems. Now what are the areas? The managerial application areas where programming problems can be applied. Innumerable areas are there. I will explain a few areas of management where these programming problems will be more applied. First case, portfolio selection. Portfolio means a basket of securities. In case of banks, insurance companies and other financial institutions, a lot of funds are invested in portfolios. So the management, the management of bank, insurance companies, financial institutions are more interested how to make the portfolio. Don't invest all the funds in one avenue. We have to divide the funds in such a way that we get maximum profit at a minimum I mean risk. The objective is to minimize the risk or to maximize the profit. So how our investment portfolio should be. So for taking these decisions, the management of banks, financial institutions will apply programming problems to find out the right decision. Next comes financial mix strategy. Financial mix means the capital structure of a business. Nowadays, business does not depend only on owner's capital. The business depends on owner's capital and also borrowed funds, internal fund and external fund. There should be a proper combination of these funds. If the capital structure is not appropriate, not good, then definitely the objective of the organization cannot be achieved. There should be a proper blending of owner's capital and outsider's capital. Again, for deciding the financial mix, the programming problem will be very much helpful to the companies. Next comes profit planning. In case of pro profit planning is one of the function of most of the managements. Profit planning means we have to decide, we have to plan where we can be able to get maximum profit. Nowadays, the business organization produces multiple products. In order to take the decision how many units should be produced of each product, we have limited resources. Material, men, machines, time, all these are limited. So by using those limited resources, they have to decide which product has to be produced. This is called profit planning. Programming problems will be very helpful in profit planning. Next comes media selection. In marketing, a number of I mean uh, I mean avenues are there. A number of alternatives are there. How we can be able to advertise? The advertisement can be given on television, on net, on hoardings, on newspapers, in magazines. So many media uh, I mean uh, media selection alternatives are available. The management has to select by using which we media our sales will increase, our revenue will increase. So in order to take the decision regarding the selection of media to give the advertisement, again, programming problems will be very much helpful for selecting the media. Then traveling salesman problem. It's a problem where a traveling salesman will travel to different cities and then come back to the home city. So we have to find out which is the easiest or shortest path 
of movement of traveling salesmen from one city to another city. So in order to solve the problem of traveling salesmen, again programming problem will be useful. Next comes production scheduling. In case of production management, the, pro the producer or production manager has to decide how to combine the different inputs to produce a certain amount of output so that it can be able to meet the demand on time and must have sufficient inventory. So for inventory management, for supplying the goods for which is demanded in the market, there should be a proper schedule, production plan. So for production scheduling, again programming will be used. Next comes blending problem. Blending means mixing. In, uh, in producing a particular product, a number of different types of material will be blended, combined, so that the ultimate objective, uh, ultimate product, final product should be good, should be, I mean, uh, in a usage form. So in case of paints, in case of food products, a proper combination should be made so that the quality should be maintained and also the cost should be maintained. So again, we need programming problems in blending. Next comes production management. Just now I told you production scheduling or production management. A particular objective is there to uh, by uh, following that objective, a number of resources are used. Programming will be used. Next comes marketing management. Marketing is concerned with distribution of goods. The distribution of goods to different markets and also the media selection. So all these requires the usage of programming problems because we can attain a given objective by using certain resources. Agriculture, uh, marketing, agricultural applications nowadays, agriculture, there is a lot of improvement, development taking place in agriculture. The production, the agriculture production have increased a lot. So in case of agriculture, a number of decisions has to be uh, I mean, taken. In order to attain the maximum production, maximum profit, how to best utilize the agricultural facilities. Next comes financial management. Financial management consists of managing the funds. Funds are one of the resources, one of the factor of production, which should be properly utilized because we don't have unlimited funds. We have limited funds and the funds have alternative uses. So how to utilize effectively the funds when the funds are scarce and the funds have alternative uses then programming problem will help better utilization of funds in financial management. Lastly military, uh, military applications. In military a number of resources are used for military uh, for attaining the objective of the military. So in order to attain the objective like winning the war or for defense, how much arms, how much ammunition is required, how much personnel is required, all this planning requires programming problems. So this video I have explained you about goal programming, dynamic programming and managerial applications of programming problems. So if you are satisfied, give a like to the video, share my channel among your groups, among your friends so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge and face the examination boldly with confidence and get uh, and, and come out with flying colors in your examination i my best wishes are always with you if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe my channel and by the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah we'll start the next topic in the next video